Hey everybody, what's up? Victorian Genetics here bringing you a tin opening video. They've been out for a month or two and I didn't quite have the means to buy them whenever they first came out, but GameStop was having like a buy one get one 70%, 75% off sale. I work there so I get the 15% off on top of that, so I was like, now is the time. You feel me? You feel me. Okay. So I'm excited to open, in, open these. Hopefully you're excited for them. Uh, if you like the video, leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscription if you want more content like this and stuff. Always coming out with more content and I will reply to any comment and the likes are appreciated. So thumbs up on that. We got a you say, and we got, I think Jaden's upside down. Jaden is upside down. So right there, boom. So basically I got one of them for $16.99 through my discount and then the other one was only like $4.25 because it was like... Okay, see? I got it open now. Cellophane isn't going to be my en enemy very often anymore. I learned the trick. I am a master of the Jedi. It's still going to be a little bit of my enemy though, like no lie. Because fuck you Cellophane. We got the Jaden tin right here. Look at that. Ooh, nice shiny tin. It's open. I don't remember exactly what you have a chance to get in here. Or even the promos, so... <laughs> Should be cool. I just like collecting the cards. And dueling with them. So... When I see a sale... Especially when I see a sale, I'll buy them. But, you know, even if there isn't a sale, i still buy them. Why not? Why not? So these uh these shiny the shiny promo cards. Ooh, we got okay. <laughs> we got Elemental Hero Nebula Neos, which is a warrior earth fusion. It's uh several stars, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Elemental Hero Neos, Grand Mole, and Dark Panther. Must be special summoned from your extra deck by shuffling the above into your deck. No polymerization. If this card is special summoned from the extra deck, draw cards equal to the number of cards your opponent controls. Whoa. Then negate the effects of one face-up card on the field until the end of the turn. Once per turn, during the end phase, shuffle this card into the extra deck. Okay. That's pretty cool. Elemental Hero Solid Soldier? Solid Soldier? The focus is a little weird on my camera. Solid Soldier? Zoom! It doesn't do well with zooming in on stuff. Solid Soldier. When this card is normal summoned, you can special summon one level 4 lower hero monster from your hand. Sweet. If this card is sent from the monster zone to the graveyard by a spell effect. That's really specific. You can target one hero monster in your graveyard. Except elemental hero, solid soldier, special summon in defense position. Okay. Wait, if it's sent from the monster zone to the graveyard by a spell. Okay. Keeper of dragon magic. If this card is normal or special summon, you can discard one card. Add one polymerization normal spell or fusion spell card from your deck to your hand. You can reveal one fusion monster in your extra deck. Special summon one of the fusion materials whose name is specifically listed on the monster from your graveyard in face down defense position. You can only use each effect once per turn. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except fusion monsters to turn you activate either of these effects. We got Keeper of dragon magic it's like if i hold it further away it's like a little bit better focused it's hard to like get a good focus to where you really can see the card art that's not like too bad but yeah it's, it's keeper of dragon magic and then we got mud dragon of the swamp it's a worm fusion water level four Two monsters with the same attribute but different types. Your opponent cannot target this card or monsters on the field with the same attribute as this card. 
with card effects. Once per turn, quick effect, you can declare one attribute. This card becomes that attribute until the end of the turn. That's nifty. It's a quick effect too, so I'm pretty sure that that's activating on your opponent's turn, right? I always fucking brain fart so bad on what's what. Three warrior monsters with different names. Once per turn, when a spell tra or trap... Oh, I didn't show it. Uh, I probably don't need to actually read these. Ooh, pretty. Uh, this is Arcana Extra Joker. It's a light link three monster. 2800 attack. Once per turn, when a spell or trap is or monster effect is activated that targets this face-up card on the field, or a monster this card points to quick effect, you can discard the same type of monster, monster spell or trap, negate the activation. When this link summoned card is destroyed by battle or sent to the graveyard, and sent to the graveyard, my bad. You can special summon one level 4 warrior monster from your deck, and if you do, add one level 4 warrior monster from your deck to your hand. Okay, that's cool. I like that. I can dig it. Let's open the first- oh, I didn't. Fucking- I keep forgetting the order that I'm going in. Ooh, look at that. Extra Joker. I wish there was a way to get my camera to focus a little bit better. If anybody has any tips or anything for that, I know it's only like a $20 webcam, but until I can get something better. Like ideally I'd, I'd like to have this type of setup that you usually see people do. They have like, they talk to you in this camera, they talk to you, and then after they talk to you in this one for a bit and they go to open the packs and decks and stuff, they have like a downward facing camera all set up and stuff. and. It's just way better. If anybody has any tips or tricks about any anything like that, like how people traditionally do openings and what you like to see and stuff, feel free to leave a comment for sure. Um, any sort of comments, cool. Critiques are always nice though, too. Just like constructive criticism to let me know how are things going. You know, you feel me? We got self-destruct ant. Flip. Each player takes 1,000 damage. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, inflict 1,000 damage to your opponent. You can only use each effect of self-destruct ant once per turn. It's a level 3 earth flip effect insect. 1,500 attack, 1,000 defense. That's pretty interesting. Boop. Self-destruct ant. Oh my gosh, that's punny. Oh my gosh, I just realized how punny that is. You're self-destructing to like, you're self-destructing, self-destructing. Like you, you like to self-destruct, that's, that is too good. Good job, Konami, I like you. Bao Baboon, Bao Baboon, I don't know how to pronounce this. Dark, level 3, plant, 1200 attack, 1000 defense. If this card is normal or special summon, you can draw one card. Then place one card from your hand on either the top or bottom of your deck. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon any number of baboon, bababoon, from your deck. From your deck. From your deck. Bababoon. Oh, wait. It's like a plant monkey? It's a plant, plant go monkey dude. I don't know what exactly that phase is supposed to be. I figure it's supposed to be a monkey because it sounds like baboon. Bababoon is with, like the name. The Accumulator. The Accumulator. It's a level 1 light thunder. Zero attack. Gain attack equal to the combined link ratings of all link monsters on the field. Okay. So if you have one link 3, it's 300. If you have a link 3 and they have a link 3, it's... Oh wait, it's 300 times. So it's 1200. If you both have link th one link 3, then it's 2400. That could get pretty strong pretty fast. If you have a link 3 and a link 2, then it's going to be 1200 plus 6, 1800. That's, that's not horrible. I don't know if it'd be worth playing. Like It depends on if there's ways to abuse its uh, stuff. Mermail Absinary, she's pretty. She, she's really pretty. I can't really... Like seriously, if anybody has any tips on how to get the cameras to focus on cards really well, that'd be really cool. I haven't toyed enough with the settings, you know, so... Water level 3, Aqua, 1200 defense, 2000 defense, quick effect. You can discard this card, then target one monster you control. 
Destroy one other water monster in your hand or field, and if you do, that targeted monster gains attack and defense equal to the destroyed monster's original attack and defense until the end of this turn. Okay. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can draw one card, then discard one card. I don't really know how mermails work, so I can't really comment on this effect. But it sounds cool. And she's pretty. So we roll with that. If anybody wants to explain how any cards I don't understand work, right? Like that one? I understood the effect, but I don't understand how it plays in a mermail and shit. So if anybody wants to explain that sort of thing, feel free. We got Showdown of the Secret Sense Scroll Techniques. Oh, okay. Mouthful. Mouthful alert. Mouthful alert. That's what she said. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> when your opponent activates a spell or trap card, or monster effect with the same name as a tra card in their graveyard negate the activation if you do destroy that card. That's not horrible. That's kind of cool. I like that. I don't know how super practical it is because you want to negate like the first one and the second one and the third one of those big spells and stuff, but it's not horrible. This is a level 4 zombie. Uh, Earth. His name is Zombino. It's just a normal monster with 2,000 attack. Okay. That was cool. The two are so close that they die and return to life inseparable. Okay. I can digs it. I can digs it. I can digs you, Zombino. Zombino. This one's Pendulum Mucho. Earth level 1 winged beast. Look at that. Look at their art. That's just, that's just some good art right there. Like, look at that. They're all silly and stuff. They're enjoying life. I'm like, hey, brother, what's up, brother? Like that. That's cute. Once per turn during your main phase, if this card was activated this turn, you can target one of your Pendulum Monsters that is banished or in your graveyard, except Pendulum Mucho. Add it to your extra deck. That's cool. That's the Pendulum Effect, Monster Effect. If this card... Is normal or special summon, you can special summon one face up level one pendulum monster from your extra deck, except pendulum mucho, but banish it when it leaves the field. Okay, cool. That's cool. We got Mech Knight Purple Nightfall. This is a deck that whenever I watch Simo, he's a really cool Yugi tuber. He always talks about it's a it's a fringe meta fringe on the fringe of being a meta deck at all times pretty much there's always like one or two showing up in his top uh 32 analysis cut things for tournaments and stuff so again another deck i don't exactly know how it works but that's cool purple is like my favorite looking one so one two three four five six seven eight eight stars psychic if two or more cards are in the same column oh that's right this is the column the column archetype, one of those column archetypes. You can special summon this card from your hand if that in that column. You can only special summon one Mech Knight Purple Nightfall per turn this way. Quick effect, you can target one Mech Knight monster you control, banish it until the standby phase of your next turn. And if you do, add one Mech Knight monster from your deck to your hand, except Mech Knight Purple Nightfall. You can only use this effect once per turn. Okay, cool. I can dig it. I can dig it. I watch a lot of Yugi tubers. That's like a lot of my info. Um, I can't think of all their names right now, but uh, DZ. Then there's another guy called DG D Yu Gi Oh Pro. I don't know. He does cool card reviews with a whole bunch of meme clips and stuff attached to him. Simo, um, Capital G, Mega Capital G. I can't. It's Capital G or something like that. They're all cool. Yugi tubers are cool. Altergeist Melusik. It's a water level 1 spellcaster. This card can attack directly. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can target one card your opponent controls, send to the graveyard, send it to the graveyard, not destroy it. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one Altergeist monster from your deck to your hand, except Altergeist Melusik. You can only use this effect once per turn. It's 500 attack, 300 defense. Looks pretty cool. It's. It's pretty like mermaid-y looking, mermaid-ish looking, not mermaid looking, just mermaid-ish looking in general. Which is pretty cool. Oh wait, we want to set the ultra rares aside. 
all the all the rare stuff aside. Then we got Altergeist Camouflage. It's a trap card. Uh, looks the card art looks pretty cool. I don't know what they're doing there. Well, doing something camouflagey. Target one Altergeist monster you control. Equip this card to it. Your opponent cannot target it for attacks, but it does not prevent your opponent from attacking you directly. Negate an opponent's monster effect that activates by targeting the equipped monster. If an Altergeist monster card you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. That's cool. I can dig it. Luna Light Kaleido Chick. Cool. I can dig the name. They looking kind of cute. Level 4 Dark Beast Warrior. What is going on? 1400 attack and 800 defense. Once per turn you can send one Luna Light monster from your deck to, or extra deck to the graveyard. The name of this face up card on the field can be treated as the sent monsters. If used as fusion material this turn, this turn, if this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can target one polymerization in your graveyard. Add it to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. If this card is banished, you can activate this effect. This turn, your opponent's cards and effects cannot be activated during the battle phase. Ooh! That's cool. I can dig it. Another archetype I don't really super know how it works, but it sounds cool. Familiar Possessed Lena. This is like one of my favorite archetypes. I don't know what all the support it got and stuff, but I think this is... It's a level 4 light spellcaster, 1850 attack, 1500 defense. I think this is the same as the other familiar possessed I've seen. You can special summon this card from your hand or deck by sending one face up Lena the Light Charmer you control and one face up light monster you, you control to the graveyard. When special summoned this way, you can add one spellcaster monster with 1500 defense from your deck to your hand, except familiar possessed Lena. If this card is special summoned by its own effect, attacks. A defense position monster inflict piercing damage. Yeah, it's the same as the other familiar possessed, pretty much. Looking pretty cool. Looking pretty cool. FA test run, quick play spell. Target one FA monster you control. Change its battle position. Then, destroy one card on the field. During your main phase, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Then target one face up monster you control. Destroy it. And if you do, special summon one FA monster from your deck. You can only use this effect once per turn. Cool. I like it. FA's always seemed pretty cool. Test run, test run, test run. <coughs> FA pit stop. Target one FA monster you control. Reduce its level by two. And if you do, draw cards equal to the number of FA pit stop in your graveyard. Plus one. So it's a draw one, then draw two, then draw. During your main phase, except the turn this card is was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one FA monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Ooh, that's cool. I like this card. It's cool, like, drawing power and stuff, and it lets you special summon. Oh my gosh. Man, these packs have so many cards. I mean, they only give you three, that's why. Langling, three-star dark dragon at 1500. Once per turn, you can either... You can either target one face-up monster you control, equip this card to it, or unequip this- Oh, it's a union! Unequip this card and special summon it. That's the basic union effect. I wouldn't have read that if I'd realized it was a union. Lol. <laughs> the original attack of a monster equipped with this card becomes 1,000. It can make a second attack during each battle phase. Also, if the equipped monster would be destroyed by battle, destroy this instead. Yada yada yada. The usual- the usual union affair. Its effect seems a little lackluster. Parthian shot. It's a trap counter. <laughs> At the end of your, the battle phase, it becomes the end phase of this turn. Okay, so you can just skip your opponent's whole main phase too, I guess. <coughs> <coughs> Woo! Where'd my packs go? Okay, next pack. Let's go. If anybody wants to drop the exact numbers on me that people do, like there's an exact number that where people like pull these apart without looking at anything. And then, oh, whoa, I think I did it. By accident. Um, there's like an exact number that people pull apart. Like, they build this muscle memory or something. They just pull a pack apart and then, like, put it in the back. So they, like, pull the, sh the rares out with it. Like, right here, I guess. Right here. And then they end up, like, putting them in the back. I'm like, whoa. How, how, how much do you open? I don't open enough for this. 
Capacitor Stalker, Light, 5 star. You know what? I'm just not going to read them. Cyber Capacitor Stalker. Cybers 2000 attack, 1000 defense. I'm tempted to read them. Let me know if you want me to read them. Like, you know what? I'm just going to read them. When this card is normal summoned, you can target one other Cybers monster you control while this face up monster is on the field. That monster gains its 800 attack. If this card in the monster zone is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, each player takes 800 damage. You can only use this effect once per turn. Sweet. Did I show it? I'm pretty sure I showed it. Capacitor Stalker. It's a Cybers. It's a rank. It's a. No, not a rank. It's a level 4. There's so many different statistics to remember in Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark World Brainwashing. It's a continuous trap. When an opponent monster effect is activated, if you have three or more cards in your hand except during the damage step, you can target one Dark World monster on the field, return it to the hand, and if you do, the activated effect becomes discard one random card from your opponent's hand. That's pretty cool. Just full-blown, like, hey, your effect, it's benefiting my Dark Worlds now. Dark Worlds are cool. Dun, dun, dun. Contact C. This is like Maxi, but I don't know how. One, two, three, it's a six, level six insect, 1500. Attack, 2200 defense. When your opponent normal summons or special summons a monster, except during the damage step. You can special summon this card from your hand to the opponent's field and defense position. This card's controller cannot fusion, sum fusion synchro Xyz or link summon unless they use this card as material. So, that doesn't seem all that worth it. I don't know. Is that card a thing? I mean, DD Seeker. Dark level 3 psychic, 1500 attack, 800 defense. You can target one face up monster you control, banish it until the end phase of the next turn. You can only use this effect once per turn. It's a quick effect, so you can use it on your opponent's turn. World Legacy World Shield. Like, 6 star dark machine, 0 attack, 3000 defense. Unaffected by activated <coughs> effects from any monster special summon from the extra deck. Your opponent cannot target your World Legacy cards in this card's column with card effects. Also, they cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. During the standby phase, if this card in, is in your graveyard, you can pay 1,000 life points, special summon this card, then your opponent can special summon monsters, one monster from their hand or graveyard. That's kind of interesting. I don't know how good that is. <coughs> True Draco Apocalypse. Continuous Trap. If this card is sent from the spell and trap card zone to the graveyard, you can target one monster on the field, destroy it, you can now activate the following effects of true Draco Apocalypse in the same chain. Okay. You can target one other true Draco or true king card you control, destroy it, and if you do, the attack and defense of all face-up monsters your opponent controls become half the current attack and defense, even if this card leaves the field. During your opponent's main phase, you can immediately after this effect you can immediately after this effect it resolves tribute summon one true draco or true king monster face up okay i could dig it true true draco we seem like a pretty cool archetype like sacrificing spells and traps and stuff that's pretty cool <coughs> altergeist protocol it's a continuous trap i know this archetype likes to mess with traps and stuff they're like a trap archetype of some sort believe that's good yeah i believe that's correct right that's correct the activation of the effect and effects of altergeist cards activated on your field cannot be negated Ooh, that's cool whenever your opponent activates a monster effect you can send one other face up altergeist card you control to the graveyard and negate the activation and if you do destroy it you can use this effect once per turn sweet Ooh, i like this one this one looks really cool. Oh wait, that's a rare. Gotta put that in the rare pile. Then we got Lumina Lights... No, not Lightsworn. Lumina Twilight Sworn Shaman. 
It is a dark level 3 spellcaster, 1000 attack, 1000 defense, and the effect reads, once per turn, you can banish one Lightsworn monster from your hand or graveyard. Then target one of your banished Lightsworn monsters, except Lumina. Special summon it. Once per turn, if uh, your other Lightsworn monster's effect is activated, send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard. I always really like the Lightsworn archetype. Judgment Dragon is bullshit, but... I mean, nowadays, I don't think it's all that bullshit, probably. I'm pretty sure it got power crept like crazy. But Lightsworn's always been a cool archetype of, like, milling yourself and just... I've always liked it a lot. This is a really cool secret rare to get. Like, I really like the look of Lumina. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Majesty Maiden, the true Draco caster. is a level 5 wind worm. 2300 attack, 1500 defense. To tribute summon this card face up, you contribute a continuous trap slash spell you control instead of a monster once per turn. When your opponent activates a card or effect while you control this tribute summoned monster quick effect, you can add one true Draco or true king monster from your deck to your hand or effect while you control this card tribute summoned card. That's cool. I like that. She looks really cute too. The theme music right now is just Yusei's battle theme from, I want to say, the show. It might be Duel Links. I haven't played enough Duel Links. I'm assuming it's the show. Let's scroll down here for a second. 2008. It's from the show. That's what I figured. Because I've listened to Duel Links a lot and it didn't seem all that like, hey, this is Duel Links. Um, one time passcode. Spell card normal. I'm assuming this deals with cybers. Special summon one security token, it's Cyber's Light level 4, with attack 2000, defense 2000, and defense position you can only activate one per turn. So you just flat out activate this and get a token. <coughs> I don't know if that's all that worth to do in general, but it sounds pretty cool. Treasure Panda, this card's lulz, I love this card's art too. Uh, four, 4 star earth, 1100 attack, 2000 defense. You can banish up to three Speller Traps from your graveyard face down. Special summon one normal monster from your deck whose level equals the total number of banished cards from this effect. This card's funny to like, there's some weird OTK Exodia type stuff to do with it, but I don't remember exactly how it works or if it's even plausible anymore. Um, but yeah, look at, that's cute. The card art's cool. It's just this badass panda running from a boulder that's fucking up Ojama Yellow. He's Indiana. He's Pandiana Jones. See? Easy. That's what I would have called that card. Pandiana Jones. Fuck it. GG easy. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't be allowed to. But Bug Signal. This is probably a Cybers card. Because it looks like a Cybers card. It's a spell card. Quick play. Target. Oh no, it's Xyz. That looks like a mechanical thing. It looks mechanical. Oh. Never mind. Target one insect Xyz monster. Special summon from your extra deck one insect monster that is two ranks higher or lower than that monster you control by using it as an, the Xyz material. This card is Xyz material. This card is. This special summon is treated as Xyz material. Xyz material is attached to that card. Also become Xyz materials on the summon monster. You can only activate one bug signal per turn. Isn't that Insector, right? I can't remember which. There's end of the world oh my god i feel like i shouldn't even read this but okay spell card ritual this card is used to ritual summon ruin queen of oblivion or demise king of armageddon you can also you must also tribute monsters from your hand or field whose level equals the level of the ritual summon monster that card's so old that it's like fa pit stop we already read we got Watt kinetic puppeteer it's a four star Light, Psychic, 1800 attack. I think this is the hand trap, right? Quick effect, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Then target one monster your opponent controls. Move that target to another of their main monster zones. Okay, yeah, it's the hand trap. That doesn't do a shit ton, but if the meta ever fluctuated a whole lot to where Column Super mattered, then that would be a pretty good card. Artifact, Melnyorn. Melnyorn? I think that's how you pronounce that. <laughs> Four star, <laughs> no, five star light monster. 
Fairy, 1300 attack, 1800 defense. You can set this card from your hand to your spell or trap card zone as a spell. During your opponent's turn, if the set card in the spell or trap is destroyed and sent to your graveyard, special summon it. If this card is special summoned during your opponent's turn, target one artifact monster in your graveyard, special summon it in defense position. Also, you cannot special summon monsters until the end of the next turn, except artifact monsters. You can only control one, or you can only use one effect per turn. Which is a pretty standard thing to read in Yu-Gi-Oh! Once per turn. Get used to it. Biatch. Biatch. What's coming in this next team? Or this next pack? We got Dark World Brainwashing again. <coughs> go, go, go. Aristera and Dexia. It's an Earth level 4 rock. Zero attack, 2200 defense. While another Go, go, go monster is on the field, your opponent's monsters cannot target Go, go, go monsters for attacks. Also, your opponent cannot target Go, go, go monsters on the field for card effects. An Xyz monster that was summoned using only this card and other Go 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 monsters has the following effect. When it is Xyz summoned, you can target one face up attack position monster your opponent controls, change it to defense, defense position, and if you do, change its defense to zero. Sweet. It's just two hands creeping up on you. Hide your keys, hide your wife! Like that, right? Striping Partner. It's a light level 4 cybers, 1200 attack, defense 1600. Cannot be normal summoned or set. Must be so special summoned by the following effect. If this card, if the effect activation of a monster you control is negated, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand. When this card is special summoned, you can target one level 4 or lower cybers monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. You can only activate this effect once per turn. It's a cute little cybers dog. Cybers dog. It's a, it's a dog from uh, the from the rain. The, 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 the cybers. I'm a cybers puppy. Woof, 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 woof. Like that. Flame Administrator. It's two Cybers monsters. It's a Link monster with a Link pointing that way and a Link pointing that way. I don't even know what to call that. Left and uh, bottom right. It's a Fire Link 2. All Link monsters you control gain 800 attack. That's fairly straightforward. I can digs it. That's cool. The Link arrows are... Yeah, the Link arrows are nice overall. Because if you get one person pointing down, you summon him in the down area... He'll get you more zones. And then if you get a um, monster... If you get him in your upper zone, you still get it. So either way, he plays with your other Link monsters fairly well. Burning Bamboo Sword is a continuous spell. If you activate a Bamboo Sword card, while this card is already face up on the sp in the spell and trap card sword, you can s skip your opponent's next main phase one. Okay, that seems a little crazy. Crazy Bamboo Sword! F.A. Sonic Meister. It's a wind level 4 machine effect. Zero attack, 1000 defense. Gains attack equal to its level times 300. Cannot be destroyed by battle. <coughs> Sorry. With an opponent's monster whose original level rank slash rank is lower than this card's level. Each time an F.A. spell or trap card or effect is activated, you can increase this card's level by 1. If this card is level 7 or higher, it can make up the 2 attacks during each battle phase. Sweet. I think this is the card that made Hi Altergeist pretty damn cool. Altergeist Hextia, Link Arrow, boop, Link Arrow, boop. Wait. Boop, boop. Nope, see that's wrong technically, it's that one. I don't know, it's reversed. It's on the video, because the video is technically a mirror of myself, right? So I'm looking at the card like this, so it'd be boop and boop, because I show the card to you. Wait, wait. I don't know, I'm going to stop pointing like that. I'm done. I might still point like that. Let's be real. Two Altergeist monsters. It's Spellcaster Fire. 1500 attack. It's a Link 2. Gain attack equal to the original attack of each Altergeist monster it points to. Okay. When a spell tra slash trap or effect is activated. Quick effect. You contribute one Altergeist monster this card points to. Negate the activation. Ooh. And if you do, destroy that card. Ooh. Ooh. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one Altergeist card from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. So, 
sweet. It's a pretty cool card. Hextia. This card art is especially hard to kind of show off. Looks pretty cool though. What, what type are they? Spellcaster. Fuse line. While this card is set, target one card on the field in this card's column. Destroy it. What? <clears throat> I don't think I quite understand how this would resolve. It's cool though. That's uh, our secret rare for the pack. Yeah. Fuse line. Oh wait, Hextia needs to go over there. Then we got another Melusik. And then we got Desmanian Devil, level 4 Earth, Beast, 1700 attack, 1400 defense. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can add one level 4 or lower beast monster from your deck to your hand. They cute. Look at it. They cute. They Desmanian Devil. It's like Tasmanian, but they're a Des monster. Lel. You, you smart, Konami, I like your names, they're very punny. Temple of the Mind's Eye is a field spell. Any battle damage player a player takes becomes 1,000. That's just very straightforward. So straightforward, it's hard to believe, right? Yoko Zuno Sumo Spirit. I like that freaking name too. Yoko Zuno Sumo Spirit! Five Star Wind, Pendulum, one scale, one scale, 2400 attack, 1000 defense. If a monster is pendulum summoned, return this card from your pendulum zone to the hand. That's its pendulum effect, pretty straightforward. When this card is normal summoned, you can send it to the graveyard all monsters your opponent controls in the same column as the card in as the cards in your pendulum zones. Once per turn during the end phase, if this card was normal summoned or flip face up this turn, return this card to your hand. Okay. Okay, I can dig you. We got this next card looks kind of cool. Mahjong Munia Maidens. It's a wind level 2. Flip effect. You can draw one card, then discard one card. That's kind of cool. Once per turn, you can change this card to face down defense position. Ooh, it's just one of those. 200 attack, 2000 defense. We got another FA pit stop. We got one of these in each pack. What up? Then we got another Lang Ling. And we got another Parthian Shot. Sweet! That tin is down. I like it. I like it a lot. Sweet! Let's open the next tin. You say. Which is probably the one that I'm like, I like a little bit more. Oh, that damaged my tin a little bit. Whatever. It gets the cellophane off a whole lot easier. It's not too- it's not- it's just a slight bend. It doesn't matter that much. Do, 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 do. Okay. Let's see what we got here, right? We got Junk Speeder, which I've heard some things that this card's ridiculously ridiculous. It's weird how they- <coughs> They wrap all the packs together, and then they wrap the in promo cards again, which is respectable. I like that. Junk Speeder, level 5 Synchro Wind, Warrior, 1800 Attack, 1000 Defense, two, one Synchron Tuner, <coughs> plus one or more non-tuner monsters. If this card is Synchro Summoned, you can Special Summon as many Synchron Tuners as possible with different levels from your deck. In Defense Position, whoa, okay. You cannot Special Summon monsters from your extra deck, except Synchron Monsters. The turn you activate this effect. When an attack is declared involving this card that was Synchro Summon this turn and another monster, you can make this card attack. Atta you can make this card's attack become double its original attack until the end of this turn. You can only use each effect of Junk Speeder once per turn. Sounds pretty cool. The art's really cool too. It looks really good as a secret rare. Junk Collector is a level 5 light monster, warrior, 1000 attack, 2200 defense, quick effect. You can banish this card on the field and one normal trap in your graveyard. Apply that banish traps effect. The traps activation requirements must still be correct, but costs are not paid. Okay. 
Banish this card from the field. Okay. That's interesting. I don't know how good that is, but it's interesting. We got Stardust Assault Warrior. It's a 1 2 6 star Wind Warrior Synchro. 2100 attack, 1200 defense. One tuner, one non tuner monster. When this card is synchro summoned while you control no other monsters, you can target one junk monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. You can only use this effect of Stardust Assault Warrior once per turn. If this card attacks the defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage. That's cool. I really like Synchro. It's like my favorite summon mechanic. It's my favorite show arc. It's my favorite characters. Like, it's like some of my favorite archetypes, dude. Like, <coughs> <coughs> Martial Metal Marcher. That's a really interesting name. Three star wind machine. 500 attack, 2200 defense, one tuner, one non tuner. If this card is synchro summoned, you can target one tuner in your graveyard. Special summon in defense position, but can negate its effects. You can also use this effect of martial metal marcher once per turn. A synchro monster that uses this card as material is treated as a tuner while face up on the field. Oh, cool. Sweet. And then we got junk connector. It's a link to warrior, two effect monsters, warrior and or machine including a tuner once per turn during the main phase or battle phase you can quick effect immediately after this effect resolves synchro summon one synchro monster using only materials this card points to if this link summon card you control is destroyed by battle or opponent's card effect and sent to the graveyard you can special summon one junk synchro monster from your extra deck Ooh, i like this card like, junk in general, junk is one of my favorite archetypes. I really like Yusei, and I really like junk monsters, and I really like Synchro. I really like Synchro. Like, Synchro is the summon mechanic for me. I like all the other summon mechanics just fine. Don't have any problems with any of them. Just, uh, yeah, I like Synchro. I, li I like Synchro. Target one card you control, destroy it. This is a really straightforward effect. Again, oops. It's called oops. And it's got some interesting card art. Then we got Speedroid Skull Marbles. It's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 star wind machine. 0 attack, 3,000 defense. Once per turn during the standby phase, if the, your opponent controls a face-up monster that was special summoned from the extra deck, you can special summon this card from your hand. Cannot be destroyed by battle with normal summoned or set monsters. You cannot take any battle damage. Your opponent takes any battle damage you would have taken from battles involving this card. So you summon it in attack position and then BOOM! Because it has zero attack. Wait. He can attack, right? You can attack with a zero attack monster in Yu-Gi-Oh, right? I'm playing too much Hearthstone. I hardly ever deal with zero attack monsters. The only time I ever have a zero attack monster is from an effect that made it zero while it was attacking. So, I don't remember. Um, you can only use this effect once per turn. If you control a face-up monster that is not speedroid, that is not a speedroid monster, destroy this card. Oh, okay. Ooh, I got an Amazonus. I got an Amazonus. Oh, that's like my favorite archetype. Amazonus and Harpy are two of my favorite archetypes, along with Junk, and then Crystal and um, vampires. I like vampires a lot, and I like um, what's the other one? Junk. I like warriors a lot in general. I have a whole bunch of warrior, different warrior decks and stuff. Crystal are one of my favorites though. And Amazon, but it's like Amazonus and Harpy are at the top, and then we got um, Amazonus, Harpy, and Junker at the top. Okay, those are like the three. And then we got like Akiza's whole deck thing, and we got Morphtronic, which is Leo. I really like Leo. Um, whole bunch of stuff. It's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's an 8-star Earth Warrior, Amazonus Empress, 2800 attack, 2400 defense. It requires Amazonus Queen and one Amazonus monster. Other Amazonus cards you control cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. If your Amazonus monster if it attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage. If this face-up fusion summoned card is destroyed by battle or leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect while its owner controls it, you can special summon one Amazonist Queen from your hand, deck, or graveyard. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> we got another showdown of the sick secret sense scroll techniques. 
very weird card name that's very hard to say three ten times fast or three times fast. Showdown of the Secret Sense Scrolls Techniques. Yeah, that uh, you can never know. Some people might be able to, but I can't. Showdown of the Secret Sense. Showdown of the Secret Sense Scroll Techniques. Showdown of the Secret Sense Scroll. And see, like, unless it starts wrecking me. This has Gravity X Growler on it, looks like. Gravity Lash. It's a quick play. It has two older looking cards on it. Target one face up monster on the field. It loses attack equal to its defense until the end of the turn. Okay, cool. I can dig it. I can dig it. It's a quick play, too. <laughs> World Legacy Landmark. Banish one World Legacy monster from your hand or face up from your field, then target two monsters in your graveyard, special summon them. But they cannot attack this turn. Oh, that's kind of cool. So you're trading two cards for two cards. Yeah, because you have to have this, and then you banish one monster, and then you special summon two. That's pretty cool. Ooh, Trickstar! Trickstar's one of my favorite archetypes, too. I like a lot of archetypes. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. If they're a female archetype, as you can probably surmise, they're a little bit up there for the most part. You know, Junk is like right up there with them, and then it starts. It's confusing. There's a lot of archetypes. If you want to talk about it, or maybe I'll talk about it. I'll put a video up of my five or ten favorite archetypes. It's hard to just choose five. It's hard to just choose five. I'm not somebody that just chooses one. This is my all-time favorite. Plus, Yu-Gi-Oh is kind of always changing and stuff, so... One archetype can suddenly get the support that makes you, like, love that archetype. So we got Trickstar Licorice. It's a 3-star Light Fairy, 1600 attack, 1200 defense. You can reveal this card in your hand, then target one Trickstar monster you control except Trickstar Licorice. Special summon this card, and if you do, return that monster to the hand. Each time a card is added to your opponent's hand, inflict 200 damage. That, this is, I, like I said, this is my favorite Mech Knight, but it's, it's kind of disappointing to have gotten another secret rare that's Mech Knight Purple Nightfall. We got Meremne, the true Draco Phoenix. That's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 star Wind Worm Monster. 2700 attack, 2100 defense. If if this card is in your hand, you can destroy two other monsters in your hand and or face up on the field, including a wind monster. And if you do, special summon this card. And if you do that, and both destroyed monsters were wind, you can also banish exactly four cards from the top of your opponent's deck. If this card is destroyed by card effect, you can add one non-wind mo worm monster from your deck to your hand. Okay, that's interesting. It's pretty. It's a very pretty card. Pretty! Shiny! Oh wait, I'm supposed to set the rares in that pile. Recall. It's a trap. Counter trap. When your opponent activates a monster's effect, your opponent draws one card. Also negate the activation if you destroy it. That's pretty straightforward too. Oh wait, that's a rare. I mean, it's not like, whoa, rare, but it's not silver letters. It's fine. It's a rare. We got Crowned by the World Chalice. It's a 2-star water spellcaster, normal monster, 0 attack, 2100 defense. With her magical staff, she can channel the living heart of her world to shield her people from the mech knights that have overrun it. Interesting. I really like the lore of the mech knights in World Chalice and stuff. I don't know like super hardcore how it goes, but I know enough. We got another FA test run, another treasure panda, another Parthian shot. Ooh, we got another Amazonas. Amazon is pet tiger. Pet liger, sorry. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven star beast fusion with twenty five hundred attack, twenty four hundred defense. Amazon it requires Amazonist Tiger and one Amazonist monster. Once per battle, if this card attacks during damage calculation, you can make this card gain five hundred attack during that damage calculation only. If your Amazonist monster attacks an opponent's monster after damage calculation, you can target one face of monster your opponent controls that loses eight hundred attack. Monsters your opponent controls cannot attack Amazonist monsters, except for this one. Cool. And then we got another Maljurner. Maljurner. Like that. It's close enough, right? The name? We nailed it. We honestly nailed it. Booyah. Got him. We got Trading Places. It's a quick play spell card. If your opponent is higher than if your opponent's life points are higher than if your life points are higher than your opponent's, switch your life points with your opponent's. What?
not sure what you do with that, but interesting, very interesting. The Ascended of Thunder. It's a light 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 star Thunder monster. 2700 attack, 2400 defense. You can special summon this card from your hand by paying 3000 life points at this card. If this card summoned this way in its owner's control is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, gain 5000. Okay, so your opponent would have to destroy it, but it's 2700 attack. It's by battle or card effect, but they could just remove it from the field, in which case it is then not destroyed, and you just paid 3,000 life points for this, and lost 5, and didn't gain the 5,000. That kind of sucks. Seems interesting enough, though. Demise King Armageddon. Again, this is another card I'm like, do I even need to read this? This card is so old. But I'm going to read it anyway, just for uh, consistency's sake. Dark, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 star fiend ritual monster, 2400 attack, 2000 defense. You can ritual summon this card with end of the world. You can pay 2000 life points to destroy all the other cards on the field. This was always one of the funner rituals back in the day, man. Like, right whenever they started like making some rituals. This is before rituals became really cool with like necros and stuff like that. And they started really, really trying with rituals. Like, back in the day when Rituals, you were like, uh, what, why, do I, why do I want that? Like, King of Armageddon was like the one effect that I'd read as a kid, and I'd be like, I kind of want to try and Ritual summon this, because uh, it's a bead stick that kills everything on the field. And back then, I feel like killing everything on the field wasn't all that common. FA Auto Navigator is a one-star wind monster machine tuner. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can target one FA monster you control whose current level is higher than its original level. Special summon this card. And if you do reduce the target's level by the difference between its current and original level, and if you do that, this card's level becomes equal to the amount reduced. If this card is normal, special summon, you can add one FA field spell from your deck to your hand. You can only use each of these effects once per turn. Okay, cool. I can dig it. FAs are cool as heck. Nimble Beaver. <clears throat> it's a two-star water beast, 400 attack, 100 defense. When this card is normal summoned, you can special summon one level three or lower Nimble monster from your deck or graveyard. Ooh, that's pretty straightforward. It lets you special summon stuff. That's cool. Beavers are cool. Dams are cool. We got another DD Seeker. We got another DD Protocol. Another DD Protocol. We got Vendred Reorigin, which is our secret rare of the pack. Target one face-up monster your opponent controls. That has a level tribute. That has a level. Oh, that has a level. So it can't be Link or Xyz. Tribute it. And if you do, special summon one Vendra, Vendra token. Oops, excuse me. Zombie dark attack 100, defense 100. Or attack 0, defense 0. With a level equal to that tributed monster. While the token special summoned by this card effect is on the field, you cannot special summon or normal summon monsters except Vendra monsters. We got another Altergeist Malu Seek. That card seems pretty common. I bought two tins, pulled three, and it's supposed to be the Ultra Rare. Uh, we got World Legacy World Chalice. It's a level five dark machine, zero attack, zero defense. If a monster is special summoned from the extra deck, except during the damage step, you contribute this card. Sent, send that monster to the graveyard. You can only use each of the following effects of World Legacy Monsters once per turn. If this face-up normal, su normal summon slash set card leaves the field, you can special summon two World Chalice monsters from your deck except World Legacy World Chalice. During your main phase, except the turn this card is sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Add one World Legacy from your deck to your hand. Cool. We got Pulse Mines right, right here, which I think is a Cybers related trap card. Oh, nope, it's Machine. Okay. There's a lot of cards that are tricking me with their art, let's be honest. Where's that hair at? Okay, it's just my ponytail. They get behind me, gosh dang it. If you control a monster, a machine monster, change your opponent's attack position monsters, if any, to defense position. Also until the end of the turn, if a monster is normal summon or special summon to your opponent's field, change them to defense position. That's cool. It's aight. We got another Mahjong Munia Maidens. We got the Phantom Knights of Wrong Magnet Ring. 
That sounds weird. It's a trap card. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, negate that attack. Then special summon this card in attack position as an effect monster. Warrior Dark, level 2, attack 0, defense 0, with the following effect. This card is not treated as a trap card. That was always like one of the biggest pitfalls of the whole trap card summoning type stuff. Way back in the day. And nowadays we have trap cards that become monster cards and they read like that or they have pretty bomb effects and not just like, hey, here's a monster. <clears throat> was always the weirdest thing, right? During either player's turn, you can send this card this card and one face-up card you control to the graveyard. Either Phantom Knight monster or Phantom Knight's can do a spell trap. Draw two cards. Okay, just flat out lets you draw two cards. That's cool. We got Sniffer Dragon. It's a level two dark. 800 attack, 400 defense. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add one Sniffer Dragon from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add Sniffer Dragon from your deck to your hand. That's kind of basic. It's not the greatest thing in the world. FA Motorhome Transport. It's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9 star synchro light machine monster. 0 attack, 3000 defense. 1 tuner, 1 non tuner. Gain attack, gains attack. Equal to its level times 300. Each time an FA Spell or Trap card is activated, you can increase this card's level by one. I really like the thematic of FA, how they're like supposed to be like, you know, speed racer type deals. And like, so they increase speed, which increases their level, you know. There's effects that increase their level. It's so cool. It's just a cool thematic that they got there. Not one you'd really expect to come, you know. This card gains the following effects based on its current level. If it's level 11 or higher, it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. If it's level 13 or higher, can they go up like way high? Like, can they just keep going though? That's what I don't know. Once per turn, you can target one FA monster in your graveyard, special summon it. That's pretty cool. I like it. Starts out as level 9 too, so. Smile Universe is a quick play spell. Special summon as many face up pendulum monsters from your extra deck as possible. But they have their effects negated. Then your opponent gains life points equal to the total original attack of those special summon monsters. You cannot normal or special summon other monsters or attack. During the turn you activate this card. I don't know how good this card is, but it looks cute. It's a bunch of smiling planets. How is that not cute? We got our last pack right here. We got another Dark World Brainwashing. Boom! We got another Go 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 Aristeria Dexia. Boom. We got another Striping Partner. Boom. Ooh, we got Zambi Zambino's Zambino's girlfriend, right? It's a it's a level four Earth Zombie, fourteen hundred attack, fifteen hundred defense. If this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect. You can target one level 4 or lower monster in your graveyard except Zombina Special Summon it. That's pretty straightforward. She's cute. And they both have that little zombie little zombie skeleton guy like right next door. That's pretty cool. I like that. We got another Flame Administrator. We got another Burning Bamboo Sword. We got Goki the Great Ogre. It's a Earth Link 3. They all point down which is pretty dope. Two plus Goki monsters. All monsters on the field lose the attack equal to the, their original defense. If this card would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can destroy one of your monsters. One of your monsters. This card points to its dead. Whoa! So it protects itself. That's cool. Twenty six hundred. This card seems beast, dude. Man, we got another fuse line as our secret rare, dude. Like, what the heck? Hello? We got like several secret rares and ultra rares that were exactly the same. I don't know the exact ratios on these packs and stuff or what all was in it exactly, but we got True Draco Heritage. It's a continuous ultra it's a continuous spell card. During your main phase, you can draw cards equal to the number of True Draco and True Kings card types, monster spell and traps sent to the field sent from the field to the graveyard. During your main phase, you can immediately after this effect resolves, tribute summon one true Draco or true King monster face up. If if this card is sent from the spell to the spell and trap card zone to the graveyard, you can target one spell or trap card on the field, destroy it. You can only use this effect 
once per turn. Okay, cool. Altergeist camouflage again. Bug signal again. It looks like we're at a point where we'd be getting a lot of repeats. So if I bought another tin, I'd be getting a fair bit of repeats. Uh, we got underclock taker. Once per turn, you can target one face-up monster this card points to and fit one face-up monster your opponent controls. The opponent's target monster loses attack equal to the attack of the target this monster points to until the end of this turn. It's a link arrow going to the left and down. Link 2, 1000 attack, dark, cyber, link effect, etc. Underclock taker. Then we got defect compiler. Once per turn, if you would take damage from an opponent's card effect, place one defect counter on this card instead. Once per turn, quick effect. You can remove defect counters from this card, then target one cyber's monster you control. It gains 800 attack if you would take damage from an opponent's card effect. That's not very. That's not very good. A thousand attack, a thousand defense. Um, it's a level three light cybers. I would say this probably shows up in the show at some point, maybe as like a. Hey, guess what? I got a counter to your Trickstar monsters. The, the, the main characters always do that. I haven't watched the show enough, but this just this just looks like a thing where you'd be like, I send my defect compiler. Anytime you do damage to me, I get counters and I can pump up my monsters. And then she's just like, like that, right? We got another FA pit stop. Holy crap! And then we got another Lang Ling. So, uh, that's all, that's all, folks. That's all the cards. That's all the cards we got. It's quite a lot. We like it. It's cool. It's good. It's good. We got some cool cards, right? Like, look at that. That's a big stack of cards. We got a big stack of cards. And in this pile, we got another big stack of cards. It's not as big a stack of cards because it's all the rares and stuff. But it's another pretty big stack of cards. I like big stacks of cards. Okay, so if you like the video, like it, um, and subscribe and all that stuff, because, you know, that's always fun to do. Uh, I'm going to have more pack opening videos coming soon. They're not exactly going to be Yu-Gi-Oh! for a little bit, but they will be Yu-Gi-Oh! eventually, once I find more stuff to buy. Uh, but we're going to have a Pokemon coming up soon, and Hearthstone, once the new expansion drops, we're going to have Hearthstone. More than likely. I, I still don't quite know how my funds are planning out, so might not be able to pre-order the expansion, but at some point we will have a pack opening video for the new expansion. Um, so yeah, like the video if you like it. Leave a comment, any sort of comment, how you like to see these opening videos done, what other people do that you like, what I can try and improve and incorporate and what have you. Um, you know, what you think of Yu-Gi-Oh! as a whole, what you think of the tins as a whole, what you think of just anything at all, leave the comments in the comment section down below, and subscribe for more videos. Like I said, we got more videos coming, more openings. We got a huge, huge collector's edition coming pretty soon. It's about three weeks away. That's going to be mega awesome. If you want to see that, be sure to check it. Um... So yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all next time. Peace out.